Growing up, I biked, I played soccer, I skateboarded, I skied, I snowboarded. I would do just kind of anything that would allow me to be outside for as long as I could. Growing up, my dad put me into ski school and ski racing. Um, unfortunately, I was very terrible. I would get like the last, the dead, dead last position in every ski race. and. Um, I think after a certain point, I was just so bad at skiing that I wanted to try anything else. I remember there was one day when we had ski racing practice and I was going up the chairlift and I remember literally looking at the ski racing course and then looking past it and looking at the terrain park and thinking like, wow, that looks so much fun. I'd been skateboarding for a little bit, so snowboarding kind of made sense in my mind. It was really easy for me to kind of pick up. Uh, I would come home from work and, you know, I'd open the garage and I would see all sorts of pieces of plywood and two by fours around and Emma would be out there, you know, trying to build jumps and ramps and working on skateboarding and um, so then it's like, all right, she's into skateboarding, you know, what do we do? So there's this indoor skateboard park called Third Layer and she would skateboard around on the bowls and, and, and learn some stuff and, and uh, then after a couple of years she just turned to me and she goes, I want to try that snowboarding thing and the rest is history. I grew up skiing and snowboarding at a local resort called Highland Hills. It's about 200 vertical feet. Um, there's not a lot of snow, no powder days, and all you really ride is a tow rope. Riding the tow rope every day really allowed me to have a lot of time on my board, like get a lot of repetition, whether that be like hitting really small jumps or rails, like kind of whatever Highland offered to me um, was like what I could ride. And I got really good at like riding whatever I could and whatever I had. I feel like it just riding that much really allowed me to fall further and deeper in love with the sport itself. Greasing this little puppy dog up. I moved to Utah in 2014 to go to college at a small school called Westminster. Um, I kind of wanted to move away from the Midwest and move into bigger mountains because growing up in Minnesota, I didn't really have the entire field of snowboarding that I wanted to. Um, normally I was used to riding just rails and kind of like park features, but going to Utah opened the door to a lot of new things. Um, like the backcountry, even like powder for me was, was very different and um, really amazing to learn. I try not to think about what else I could be doing because I have this life and this is what I'm doing and it's magical and fun and sick and I don't want to change it for anything else and th or think about anything else. I don't know, it's hard. It's hard to express how much I love snowboarding in like a little interview. <laughs> <laughs>